black five arrives at Dunblane station with a train from the south. Cameraman Neville Sims just couldn't resist a shot of this ancient gas lamp. We now travel behind A4 number 60027 to the northeast of Scotland. we see some workings near Stonehaven, the first two locomotives being former LNER class V2s. No introduction. Enjoy the last days of steam in Aberdeenshire, albeit through the lens of a camera. West Coast, steam had all but disappeared, but one daily freight from Oban continued to produce this Black Five working. Behind a Class 26 to Connell Ferry. This is the famous bridge which carried both road and rail traffic. A Stania Black 5 shunts at Connell Ferry Station. A 
our journey continues back towards Cree and Larrick station, this time behind steam once more. This is Perth Engine Shed in 1962. We travel north again in a DMU. This is near Pitlochry. And suddenly find ourselves on Great North of Scotland metals again, taking the coastline from Elgin to Portsoy and Tillinort. line to Banff left the main line. This line retained steam slightly longer than many other lines in the area and these shots of 78054 were taken at the terminus itself. It was July 1962, and this memorable trip along one of Scotland's most picturesque branch lines is one of our most treasured discoveries. The branch rejoined the main line at Tillinort Junction, which has now lost its railway completely. This is Broom Hill near Aviemore. And a shot of the River Ness at Inverness. We end part five of the heyday of British steam back in the northwest. This is J36 number 65313 at Fort William Shed. <laughs> 